Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. This is a big video today. We're talking about the CRM Go High Level. I use this every single day for my marketing agency. It's really helped us scale past that $50,000 a month mark. It's got HIPAA compliance. It's got literally anything you could ever need. It's like having Kajabi, uh, Teachable, Zapier, texting software, emailing software all in one. And it's super, super powerful. It's really helped me scale my agency. So if you've been looking into it, uh, this is the video for you. We're, we're gonna let you know like the important things, not everything in this video, because there's so much to go over, but the important things you need to know to make a decision. And then you can go figure out all those other things. There's tons of tutorials. High Level has a great onboarding system. So let's go ahead and hop into my computer and just check out, first of all, the pricing of High Level so you can understand how that works. So here we are on my computer. I'm gonna make this full screen so we can see it. First of all, like I mentioned, all of these different softwares all in one. It really is true. It's it's sort of like a unicorn product where it has everything and it's super nice. It's all built together. As far as pricing goes, we've got the starter account. So you are going to have to pay for Twilio and Mailgun, but you have to pay for that no matter what. Is This is $97 a month and that's just for one sub account, which you'll understand what a sub account is. It's for one account and one sub account. But uh, for $2.97 a month, you can have unlimited sub accounts. It's totally worth it, guys. And what I love about High Level is the $97 a month plan isn't limiting you on any functionality except having multiple sub accounts. So you have all the functionality just in one account. So if you have one agency client that you wanna use it for, great, use the $97 a month plan. If you have two or 10, go for the $2.97 a month plan. And then you can also have a white labeled app and a custom zap. Uh, that upgrade is for $4.97 a month. That's an addition to the $2.97. There's tons of options here. This would be if you kind of wanted to resell high level as your own software, which they totally encourage you to do. Uh, so uh, some options here, but most of us are gonna live right here in the 97 or 297 range. So let's go ahead and go to the app. We'll click log into app and I'll log in and show you guys how the magic works. So here we are in the main dashboard on High Level. High Level has two views, agency view and a client view. The agency view is sort of like the power strip where all the clients plug into. You can see everything all at once. That's what you as the agency owner use, but clients won't ever see this view. They'll only see their individual accounts. You can see the accounts by coming here to accounts. Yeah, these are all the accounts we have connected, or you can also switch to an account here and search or scroll down to the accounts. Those are the two ways to access the individual accounts. When you go into an individual account, like for example, let's go into this med spa example here. Uh, this isn't one of my clients, it's just a snapshot that I made for another demo. This is going to have all of these different things that we'll go over in just a minute. So this is an individual account, but if we just click here back to switch to agency view, here we are, we've got uh, this main dashboard. Other uh, significant things that you can see here on this dashboard is a snapshots section. We'll come back to this because it's really important and I don't wanna gloss over it. This is the marketplaces where you can hire high level to do certain white label services for you. Partners, this is uh, people that you might wanna hire to help you with your high level account. SaaS education, if you wanna do software as a service. Ideas if you want to suggest something to high level so that they can help you take care of it, uh, put that into the software. One thing I love about high level is their uh, community and how willing they are to update, listen to the community and then make updates based on what their community is telling them is most important. Sales resources, these are like sales decks or Google slides things that you could help uh, sell your services with. And then lastly, we have settings. One really cool thing here in settings is if we come into the white label domain section, I could come in here and do app.courseranks.com if I wanted to. And if I click save here, guys, this up here could change to app.courseranks.com. And let's say that my agency clients were at course ranks. I could say, hey, go to app.courseranks.com and it would take them to high level and it would be like, wow, you guys have this software. That's so cool. So you can sort of white label it and make it seem like it's your own software. I don't personally do that, but you could do it. We just don't really use it for that reason. All right, now let's hop over to account snapshots that I said was the most important part of this dashboard. You remember that screen where I showed you inside an individual account? When you click on one of these or you have your own snapshot here, you can copy and paste every single setting, every single word in your campaigns 
into a single account over and over and over again. It becomes really, really powerful. So for this example, let's say we're having a medical spa as our client and we're gonna come in here and I'm gonna say Milani Med Spa. I think this is a med spa in Virginia. Yep, click here and then we'll just name it Med Spa Test. Email address is going to be info at coursereinks.com. I'm gonna click save. And now it's just as easy as that. That client account has been created with campaigns to nurture clients, with funnels, with everything you need to actually market for a med spa, which is insane. So to get to that account, let's go switch to an account and we'll search it up, Milani Med Spa. And here we are inside the account. The first thing you'll notice is this banner that says you have no phone numbers associated with this account. To associate a phone number with an account so that you can actually send texts, you're gonna go to settings, Twilio, let's see where that is, or phone numbers here, and then you're gonna connect a uh, number, you click add number, and then you'd be able to connect that with your Twilio account. It's $1 a month per phone number and like 27 cent, uh, 27 tenths of a cent per text or something like that. It, it never comes out to more than like $5 per client per month for me. So pretty awesome there. We're not gonna add a phone number because this is just a test account, but that's where you would do that. And then because we have that phone number, all of our campaigns are actually going to work. Now there's a ton of stuff again here on the side that we could go through, but I think it's most helpful to show you how the software actually works in action and how all of these things fit together because that's where the power of high level really comes from. So the first place we need to go to kind of figure out how this snapshot specifically works and how the campaigns and everything fits together here is going to triggers. And just a note here guys, is that high level really thrives after you generate the lead. There are some lead generation strategies that high level can help you with, but obviously you're gonna have to buy Facebook ads, or you're gonna have to you know, have phone calls going out from cold callers before you can actually have the leads. So once you have the leads, this is where high level comes into play so that you can actually close those leads. So here on triggers, first thing we're gonna do is just activate all of these because if they're not active, they're not gonna work and my examples will be mute. So I'm gonna come here to activate. And the first one here, we've got number one A, free gift card offer claim. So if we come here, it's gonna say, if there's a form submitted and the form is the free $250 gift card form, then we're going to add this person to the campaign, free $250 claim nurture. So if I come here to campaigns and I open this in a new tab, this is going to show me the campaigns, that, that campaign that it's adding me to. So if I submit this form, the free $250 gift card form, then I'm gonna get this campaign. Uh, that's immediately gonna send me this text. It's going to email me two minutes later. It's gonna call me three minutes later, and it's gonna leave me a voicemail two minutes after that uh, call. Then it's going to send me an email, a text, and another call a day later. This is what it's doing to nurture me so that I eventually come in and actually claim that $250 gift card. But wait, where do I actually opt in for that gift card? Well, funny you asked. We'll go down to funnels and websites and there's only one funnel here. So this is the only place that we could actually opt in. As you'll see this funnel uh, builder, I'll just show you real quick. It's exactly like ClickFunnels. Everything inside here is pretty much exactly like ClickFunnels except I found it to be less buggy, which is really cool. So if I come up here and I click preview, claim my gift card, and then I put my name in here, and then I do my cell phone, click claim offer. It says the phone number is invalid. Uh, I'll just put my real phone number in here and then block it out. It's gonna take me to this next page. So on this page, I have the opportunity to book an appointment. But wait a minute, wasn't the campaign we were just looking at trying to get me to book an appointment? Uh, if you thought of that, you'd be right. You'll see that if we go to campaigns here, it's saying, hey, we need you to book your appointment. So that means that there's probably another trigger in here that's going to change us from the, our first campaign here. Wait for that to load. It's gonna change us from this campaign to a different campaign. So let's go check that out. It's gonna be this one, new booking request. So if this person is in a calendar as a booking request, it's gonna update this and then it's gonna send an email and says a new booking request has been submitted as waiting for your confirmation. And then it's gonna add us to a different campaign, booking requested reply. So if that happens, 
instead of going into this campaign, well, we'll, we'll be added to this campaign as well, but we'll also be added to booking requested reply. So we'll say your booking request has been received. We've received your request for an appointment. One of our staff members will follow up shortly to confirm the date and time you selected. Looking forward to seeing you. I'm assuming also that there's another trigger in here that will remove me from that original campaign so I don't keep getting texts. I just don't know where it is. So let's say I come in here, I book a, an appointment. Okay, looks good. Now I've become an appointment and this is where things start to get really exciting. If I come in here to conversations, we're gonna see that we've got an email that was sent to our client. So going down to triggers again, come here. So this person was added to a pipeline as a new lead. Pipeline is just basically um, the way that things are kept track of within high level, that's how the reporting happens. And then this email was also sent to our client. And you can see if we go back here to conversations, we'll see that that email was sent to our client. And then if we actually had a phone number associated with this account, we would also see that a text had been sent or had attempted to be sent. Maybe if it was a wrong phone number, it wasn't completely sent to me um, here in this account. And we'd see that not only was a text sent to me, but also everything else within this campaign. So this is how everything really starts to work together. So if we come in here to dashboard, we can see that we have one opportunity and that this person has actually turned into a booking request and that booking has been confirmed as well. I'm not sure how they're counting booking confirmed, but pretty cool, we've got all of these and if I kept submitting more and more, it would show me in here what all of these opportunities look like. The cool thing is also when it comes to servicing clients and helping them see their ROI, you can assign a value to each of the things that happens in your account. So if we go to my agency account here, you'll see I've assigned a $5,000 value to each client and so 87 opportunities. This is the number of sales calls we've booked, right? So you can see these are the current numbers on my dashboard, but if I go over to opportunities and I drag this down to one, which means that we close them and go back to the dashboard, you'll see that my conversion rate has jumped and we've got six instead of five, which it was before. I don't update this very often, so this isn't totally accurate, but very, very cool. Let's go ahead and go back to our med spa here. So here we are back in the med spa account. That's what the dashboard does. That's what opportunities does. I showed you both of those in the other account. Workflows as well as emails. These are both new. Workflows is really cool. It's similar if you've ever used Active Campaign or Infusionsoft where you can glue different things together. It's basically just the campaigns I showed you but in a more visual interface. So if I click create workflow, create new workflow, sorry, start from scratch here and I wanted to add an action, like sending an email. I'd have to add all of this information for the email, and then I could come in here and do the SMS, example, save, and we do a messenger message, great, and then we can do add contact tag at this point, and the tag's gonna be this tag, wait for that to load. So this is just a more visual interface there, right? Save, I'm not gonna save it, um, just gonna go back here. So the other things that we have on this dashboard are reporting, this is where your Google ads, your Facebook ads can go, scheduling, uh, calendars and appointments, this is kind of where all those calendars and appointments would show up. If I wanted to make changes to my calendars, this is where it gets really powerful because this is exactly like Calendly. You come in here, you can change all of these different settings, change your availability, set the confirmation, all of this stuff, guys, within, you don't have to buy Calendly, you just do it in here and it looks just like Calendly, it's amazing. Reputation, this is great, this is where you help people get more reviews on their online listings. Contacts, we come in here, we can see all of our contacts, we can filter by uh, age, we can filter by if they want to be contacted or not. Uh, tag, you know, whether the tag is ASDF, all of that kind of thing. Uh, then we come into funnels and websites, Websites you can build, obviously the SEO capabilities are going to be as amazing as some other sites, but you could still build it on here. Membership, this is basically like Kajabi or Teachable. You can host your online courses on here, you can sell them. Um, really incredible. Honestly, this looks just like Kajabi. So that's funnels and websites. Triggers, we already went over. This is basically like Zapier. You can add all sorts of things in here. Uh, online listings, similar to reputation here, it'll just kind of the reporting for that online listings. Chat widget, this is where 
you can put something on your website that people can chat with you and then that will show up in the conversations dashboard. Uh, conversations we skipped over, but it's super important. So I'll have to go back to my agency account here so you can see what's going on. So what's really cool about this conversations dashboard, so as you can see here, we've got an email, here we've got a messenger and here we've got a text conversation. If you had emailed, had a messenger conversation and texted one person, they would all be in this spot. Very powerful to be able to see all the conversations and all of the communication you've had with one person in one spot. Um, and over on the right, you'll be able to see all of the details about this person, tags they have, whether they've opted out of marketing campaigns and different opportunities. And then if I click here, I can schedule them straight into a calendar appointment, which is amazing. That's exactly what we want. Um, and my follow-up team uses this every single day to schedule appointments. The last thing we're gonna go over guys is settings. Uh, come up here to team management. This is maybe my favorite part of uh, I wouldn't say of high level, but maybe of the settings, which is kind of weird to have a favorite part of settings. But if I come in here and I set test, test, uh, this is my person's name, right? I could uh, put their phone and their password or their email in here so that they can have their own login. So their login screen will look exactly the same, but if I add them on here, it's just going to add them to this account. Then on permissions, if I don't want them to be able to see the marketing, I don't want them messing with my campaigns and I definitely don't want them in my triggers. We'll take the triggers off. If I don't want them either of theirs, I can take those off and then I can assign them as a user or as an admin, uh, assign their availability. If they're a member of my team, that's going to be uh, needing to be booked and I can change their calendar configuration here. All of these things just inside this little part of the settings, right? Which is incredible. So if I click save, it's going to uh, allow that person to log in just to this part of high level. They're not going to have access to my whole account. They're only going to have access to this account. Uh, then we've got teams, reputation, tons of different things we can add in the settings here. I won't go over everything. And then besides that settings is, I'm not going to say bland, but it's just other stuff that you might, you know, domains that you're connecting for your funnels, connecting your Facebook account or even your QuickBooks account if you want to. All of these things, guys, live in settings. Really incredible uh, what you can do inside of just one account here, right? And as we went over earlier with the pricing, $97 for just one of these, $297 for unlimited of these. Really incredible. And if we go back to agency view as well and I click settings, and I click agency team management, you can see all the people that I've added to all these accounts. Pretty impressive. All right guys, so that's it for this video. This is super powerful. Let me know down below if you'd like me to make a video about high level and how I use it within my agency. If you're not using it, really go ahead and make the jump. It's really gonna allow you to service your clients in a way that actually helps them book the lead uh, make that lead become a customer instead of them just being a lead that never actually converts. Thanks so much for tuning into this video. Go ahead and please head over to coreshranks.com if you're interested in buying any online courses. With all of that said, we will see you next time.